that's what I was trying to show you how that bill was. That's that's how you do it. Um, that that is very uh, detrimental to you using it when you're fighting bosses when you're doing that duality by yourself, bro. I've been trying to figure that out for I don't know how long. So okay, so what's good, Ghost Gang? I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna credit my buddy, and I have links to his channel down in the comment section. Even though he hasn't really been on his YouTube too much, uh, I'll give you guys a place to go so y'all can subscribe to him for his knowledge. Um, so you want to go to controller? Uh, you want the button layout to be in custom? Hit X on it. And you want to come down here where it says auto melee and charge melee. So you want to make sure that you hit X on that and it'll bind, uh, set binding and it'll be R1. Your charge melee is still also, you tap R1 like as you see me do. Um, and then you want to come here to uncharge melee, you want it to be R3. Once you've done that, it'll be remapped. And so when you are on your hunter, you'll continue to throw knives no matter how close you are. If you're on your warlock, you get, continue to throw your whatever class you're using, you'll be able to continue to throw uh, that. And if you're on your titan, of course, you'll have a hammer and you'll be able to continue to bust people upside the head with your hammer. So there you have it. That's how you remap your controller to make it. Uh, I don't know. What do you use on a, a warlock uh, formula? Yeah, you snap your fingers and it'll, yeah, 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 yeah. But it just works really well with the Titan build with the Solar 3.0 because you can continue to throw that hammer and it come right back to your hand every single time. It's super OP. So you guys take this advice and run with it, man. Make the best of it. Yeah, hit me with a sub, like, and comment. I appreciate you guys. Peace. You know, that's what I started.